Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this really cool looking fire text animation with some sparks as we can see. And it's really simple, we just need the free plug and saver which I will put in the description but otherwise yeah let's go. So first of all just create a new text, I'll just type in text as an example and ah, and scale it up. So yeah just like this and then let's go to the align tab on the right and just align it to the center so it will be right in the middle and yeah now we can just create a new solid and on this layer we have to apply our saber effect so not on the text layer but on the solid layer so just search for saber in the effects tab and apply it and now we have to go to customize core and change the core type from saber to text layer and now we can select our text and let's select some nice preset and of course for this tutorial we will use a fire preset but maybe we have to adjust it a bit so because it looks really strong so just turn on the core size to like 2 maybe and the glow intensity to like 20% and yeah, I think this will work and as you can see this looks really cool and also if we have a background we have to go to render settings and change the composite settings from black to transparent so we can actually see our background and yeah, if we do this we also have to make the text layer invisible so the yeah, we won't see that and now we already have this really cool thing but as we just saw in this composition, we also have some nice um, spark effects and we will do this now as well. So just create a new, a new solid again and we have to search for the um, effect that's called particle world and just apply it. And as we can see, we have a lot of work to do with the settings because yeah, this looks stupid. So just go to particle or oh no let's go to producer actually and just decrease uh, the height and increase the the width oh no not like this but like this and yeah it's difficult to see but we have to basically adjust this thing to be on top of the text so yeah just make this really small maybe uh, even smaller and just move it um, upwards a bit so it will be just on top like this and now we can go to physics and change the animation type from explosive to yeah to fire and now it just goes uh, upside but these are way too much too many particles so turn on the birth rate to, yeah something like this okay this is <laughs> not enough maybe like this and yeah this this should work but yeah we can also make this more realistic because as you can see it looks a bit weird in contrast to the yeah really detailed looking fire effect that we have on the text so let's add some more effects like the glow effect for example and adjust the settings a bit so just turn up the radius to like 50 and yeah this should work this already looks way better in my opinion and we can also add a fractal noise effect to yeah give it a little bit more shadows and depth and yeah but we also have to adjust a few settings here so first of all bring up the contrast to like 200 just like this and we can also, yeah, to get the uh, one nice color back, apply the tritone effect. And yeah, just put in, uh, yeah, just like orange values again. So the shadows should be quite dark. So select a dark orange. Yeah, just like, yeah, not too dark maybe. <laughs> and also change the, yeah, the midtones to like something in the middle. 
like this and the highlight should be quite bright. Uh, maybe not too bright, but like this. And yeah, this looks good, but let's also maybe maybe bring down the opacity of these particles a bit. So go to yeah the particle world effects um, tab again and change the maximum opacity to like 50, just like this. And now I also like some blur on these particles. So add some Gaussian blur, just, just like this and turn up the value to like yeah, maybe three, something, three, four, just so they are like blurred a bit. And yeah, then we can see this looks really cool actually. And maybe, yeah, there's still a lot of particles, so maybe, maybe we can turn down the birth rate even more. Maybe like this. Okay, now it will just vanish. So we have to stick with, yeah, this one. But yeah, you can also change the these values here, here a bit. So if you want the gravity to be maybe a little bit uh, not so fast, you can play around with this setting. But actually, I like the yeah the preset. But what we can do maybe is to go to extras and adjust this setting a bit to like 50 or 60 percent and now we can see yeah the particles get like a little bit darker when they go up or just vanish all in one so we'll give it yeah some nice value as well and i think this looks good but as we can see somehow there are now some particles that are above the text so let's actually move down the position again a bit We'll just yeah just here and yeah that's it basically i think this looks really cool but of course you can just adjust all settings to whatever you like but this is the basis i guess and yeah that's it